Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how I did the Raptor VFX integration in my last short film and it's going to be a beginner level. First of all concerning VFX integration in real footage, I think using HDRI is always a good option. To make it simple, an HDRI is like a 360 photos with all the lights information in it. So it's perfect for VFX integration as your model will be lighted as if it was on set that day. Same for the reflection, environment colors, etc. So I created my HDRI, but for some reason, it was not containing the lights information I was expecting. I don't know if it was the evaluation software which has a limitation or me doing something wrong. So I decided to reproduce the lights myself directly in Blender. Okay, for this shot, I wanted to focus on the raptor leg and not on the actress. That's why I filmed her legs out of focus. Let's go in Blender. So here how the scene looks like in Blender. As you can see, it's pretty simple. First of all, we will need a reference in order to place our raptor and to uh, adjust the lights. So to do that, we are going in camera mode and we click on camera, camera properties, and we are going to tick background images. And here we can add an image. In our case, it's a movie clip. So we click on movie clip and we select our clip. Now, as you can see, we can see our clip behind the feet. The only issue is it's not visible enough. So we are going to raise the op opacity to one. Now we can clearly see the clip and we can work from there. In order to speed up the process, I already placed the feet on the image uh, where I want it to be. In camera mode, there is another thing I want to check. It's the deep of field. Of course, we want deep of field in this kind of scene because she's, uh, in a, she's out of focus. So we need only this feed to be in focus. So we have to activate deep of field. In order to do so, you just click deep of field and you choose your focus distance. If you want to see properly your focus distance, what I'm using is uh, show the limits of the camera here. And you, you, you have this uh, yellow uh, cross that's showing where the focus is. So for me, it's perfect. Now let's add a first light. Um, for this scene, I have decided to uh, add a spotlight. I uh, don't want the light hitting directly the feet, but slightly on the left side. Let's see how it looks like now. As you can see, we already have a pretty good result so far. We have some contrast. We have this part lighted and not this one, which is still in the shadows. That's perfect for the look I'm looking for. The only issue I have is I find that these edges are a little bit too dark. Why? Because if I look at in camera mode, I can see that in front of the feet, I have an actress wearing white clothes and a white car. So there should be some lights reflected on the edges of the feet. So in order to fix that, we are going to add another light. For this front light, I have decided to go for a plane with an emission of 0.2. Let's see how it looks like now. As you can see now, we have some cool and realistic reflection on the side of the feet, which is perfect. This is, this is exactly what I wanted. The only issue that I have now is I can see the plane which is emitting the light. So to fix that, we click on the object. We click on the object properties. And here in uh, visibility option, we have ray visibility and we untick the camera view like this. So now if I do a render again, here what I get. I still have the nice reflections on the feet, but I don't see the, the plane anymore, which is perfect. I think uh, that's it for what I wanted for uh, the feet. Let's move to another scene. Okay, now uh, let's check this setup in Blender. So this is the setup in Blender and let's do what we did before adding a camera background video in order for us to adjust the lights. So background image, add image, movie clip, open, and opacity to one. Now let's check our camera views, that's perfect. In this angle, we can see that you have uh, two source of lights. 
So this one and this one. So in order to reproduce that in Blender, I have created two spotlights. So one very wide and the other one, which is a little bit smaller and hitting directly the side of the dinosaur. Let's see first how it looks like only with this light. As you can see, we already have a pretty good result. We have some cool lights hitting the top of the head. But the issue I have now is I have no lights uh, reflecting in his eyes. And I think it's because it's the first time we see the raptor in the movie. I think, it, I think it's very important that he has some presence in his eyes. And a, a, a little reflection will do the trick. So let's fix that. We saw that we have a second source here in Blender. So we are going to cheat a little bit and use this source in order to, um, to justify why the raptor has a reflection in his eye. So here I'm going to add another light. So for this light, I have an angle of uh, for about six degrees and it's hitting the back of the dinosaurs. But I know that for, from this angle, I will have a little reflection in his eyes. And also, uh, like we did for the feet, I don't want the, the raptor to have uh, dark edges here because I know that there, are, there is a source of light here. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to add a plane uh, which is emitting some uh, light on the side of the dinosaurs to avoid dark edges. And for this, uh, this plane, it's not emitting any light but it's uh, creating a, re a slight reflection of the rap uh, on the raptor because of the camera angle i have no lights coming this way so uh, i decided that it was necessary to have some reflection in order for for us to see something here so l let's check how it looks like now with all uh, the the planes and the new lights added to the scene so now, as you can see, we have a much more interesting shot compared to the old one. It was very dark here, and now we have some cool reflections, a uh, light reflection in his eye. So, and we, we can see uh, a little bit more the details or, uh, on his face. Okay, so I assume that you understood how I did this uh, VFX integration, at least in Blender, just trying to match the lights of the scene and sometimes uh, cheating a little bit to have some more uh, interesting image. Um, I will not reflect the light in every shot in his eyes because it won't be realistic. But for the first one, I really wanted to have the, the lights hitting in his eyes. So now let's jump in the next part of the video, which is the general integration within a DaVinci Resolve. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve and as a reminder guys, uh, DaVinci Resolve is uh, free. I mean there is a studio version, a paid version, but uh, for everything that we need to do, the free version is more than enough. Okay, if uh, we look at this shot, uh, we can see uh, that we have the original shot here. And when I put my renders that I did in Blender, we have uh, this image. As you can see, guys, this is not matching at all, of course, uh, not for, for now. And the first thing that I see is the uh, Raptor is way too sharp compared to the original footage. Of course, this is the case because the, the background is a little bit uh, out of focus, but still, we, I can see that it's not the same type of image. And this is because the, the Ursa Mini Pro is delivering a very organic image. So in order to fix that for all my renders, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an effect, which is a lens blur. So in DaVinci Resolve, you just go in Open FX, you search for your effect, lens blur, for example, and you drag and drop your effect on your uh, footage. I've already done that, so I'm just going to activate the lens blur effect, and that's it. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit more blurry. I don't want it to be out of focus neither. And that's why I selected a, I selected a blur size of 1.7. So, so far, so good concerning this uh, issue. What I'm going to do now is to grade the original footage first. So I click on the original footage. I go on the grading table, on the grading tab, sorry. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate the grading that I already done. 
Uh, I'm not wasting time showing you all the grading, the nodes that I'm using, but I just uh, want to, to show you how I did. I just gave a more bluish style to the, to the image. And I also tried to put the black as close as possible to the, to the zero level. You do that uh, playing with the color wheels. If you, knew, if you need more in-depth tutorial on the grading, just tell me guys in the comment section. So when you are happy with when you are happy with your grading, what you can do in DaVinci Resolve is you can grab a still of what you did. So here, for example, one one three two is a still of what I did. So all you have to do now is I'm going to activate my Raptor again, and here all you have to do now is to uh, apply the same grading to the Raptor. So I'm activating the grading that I already done. But of course, because the images are not the same from the start, what I did to, to, to match them a little bit more is putting some more contrast on the Raptor. So it was popping a little, a little bit more uh, on, the, on the screen. So if you look at now, if you compare it to before, it's uh, way uh, more uh, better than it was previously. Uh, now, for the final touch, what I like to do is to add an uh, adjustment clip. In order to do that in DaVinci Resolve, you just go in Effect, and let me delete that, and you have an adjustment clip. All you have to do is the same, you drag and drop it. And what is an adjustment clip? Well, it's a clip that is on top of all the other ones. And on this clip, you can grade it also. It means that all the clips that are be, uh, under this adjustment clip will have the effect or the grading of the clip applied to them. So what I did for this adjustment clip, I just add a little bit, a little bit more of bluish feel uh, to the image. So now, if I activate the clip, this adjustment clip again, as you can see, it's merging a little bit better uh, the two images. So this is without the clip, the adjustment clip, and this is with the adjustment clip. As you can see, the background now uh, and the Raptor are a little bit more on the same colors, the, these bluish colors. And because we did all this work uh, on the lights, we can see that the Raptor, for my taste, is a little is 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 well integrated in the scene. Of course, it's not perfect, but for what I was looking for, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the result. Okay, let's see uh, another shot. For this shot, where you have the raptor behind uh, the actress, uh, what I did is uh, manual masking. So you click on the fusion clip, and let me go back in fusion. And here, I'm not going in depth uh, in this method, because it's gonna be too long. But the, the idea is I did a mask around the, the raptor, which is matching the face of the actress and I just animate uh, the mask on manually on every shot so we have uh, this feeling that the actress uh, is in front of the raptor okay guys I think uh, that's it for this uh, VFX integration tutorial don't hesitate if you have uh, questions or if you want me to cover a, sub a subject more in depth. Thank you for watching and I see you soon. Bye bye.